How do you know if your video is any good? And if it's not, how do you know what skills you need to learn to take it to the next step? In this video, I'll show you some Synthesia examples that we put through a framework we call FOCA. After this video, you'll be able to rate your own video and then look at what skills you'll need to master to make your content quality and make content that stands out and wows your viewers. So let's get down and FOCA. FOCA stands for Foundation, Organization, Content, and Action, or Call to Action. It's these four elements together that you need to consider when making a quality video. With this rubric, you'll see that there are three subcategories and a rating that goes from level zero all the way to level five. You want to give yourself a score based on the skills for each of those four elements. You'll total that up, divide it by 20, and you'll get what we call a focus score. Let me show you how it works with a few Synthesia examples. Our first example is an economics video where the goal of the video is to be a primer to teach functions in Excel. Check it out. Let's take a look now at how to perform calculations in Excel for situations involving hypergeometric distributions. A key point to remember is that hypergeometric distributions are used when trials are being conducted without replacement and there are a known number of successes in a population of a known size. Let's go through an example. Suppose that a chocolate manufacturer starts a marketing campaign in which it places five golden tickets randomly amongst 200,000 chocolate bars. For foundation, the score to five because it's very clear what the role of this video is in the context of this class, and it's made for students who will be using Excel and exploring these functions with the expectation that they will be solving several problems with these same steps. For organization, the score to four. It grabs your attention and breaks down the topic into understandable chunks and uses a clear example to break down the process. What keeps it from getting a five is critically examining the facts presented and the process and looking at them within the larger context of solving problems. For content, the score to three. It was tough because the explanation was visually presented clearly, but we could have cut away to other metaphors because there's a bit of downtime where things aren't moving as much when we pull up the Excel sheet and that part of the video is really the majority of the video. So we wanna keep things moving as much as possible, mainly changing everything every 20 to 30 seconds. Finally, for action or call to action, the score to four. The voiceover clearly states what viewers should do next, which is to use the strategy with another set of problems. What would have made this a five is what we call a viral effect, which is to spread these ideas through social action or commitment. That gives this video a focus score of 90% and one of our favorite examples made with Synthesia. Our next candidate is a product explainer for a vape detection software system. Check it out. Vape detection systems should be installed wherever an area has been designated as smoke or cigarette free. Be it in an airport setting, mine site accommodation, a hospital, an office, or a fast food restaurant staff area, the list of locations where this innovative technology can be applied is limitless. For foundation, the score to four. The creator has their audience of HR professionals in mind as they talk about the benefits of having this vape detection technology in their building. There's a well-defined approach to speaking to their audience, but what keeps us from a five is seeing how it might be connected to other information about the product. For organization, the score to three. While the topic was clearly presented and shows some nice examples, I was looking for some factual data to back up the problem. With a few statistics and a catchier hook, we can improve the messaging and bump it up to a four. For content, the score to three. The creator does a great job of matching the script to a series of visuals that directly connects to the voiceover. It also changes what's on screen at least every 20 to 30 seconds, which is important to hold attention. You can tell that the creator was very intentional about matching the script and the chunks in the script to specific visuals such as stock footage or talking head. What would bump this up to a four would be if there were more attention paid to the audience in the script. I'm left wondering why is vape detection such a problem for this audience? Finally, for action, the score to four. There's a clear call to action to get in touch with a representative and a URL to visit for more information. 
A five is tough to get in this category because it requires that viral effect or connecting the message to something that inspires viewers beyond the goal of explaining the product. If we total up our numbers and we divide by 20, we get a focus score of 70%. It's off to a great start, but there are plenty of stretch skills to learn to master to bring it up to that benchmark of 80%. Our third candidate for the FOCA framework is a Synthesia example. We had done a series of text to video projects where we took a web article from Figma about storytelling and web design, and we had reimagined that as a short learning video. Go ahead and check that out here. UX design or user experience design focuses on the experience your customers have as they move through your product. This most commonly applies to digital design, but it is no different in concept than interior design for foundation, the score to four. The audience and goal of this video is clearly defined. Designers who are starting to build a website. What keeps it from hitting the coveted five is that there isn't a clear outcome of the video. What should our audience expect to do with this information when thinking about their website? For organization, it's score to four. The video clearly presents the information with plenty of examples. However, it doesn't take that next step of critically examining the examples shown in the video. In grading this category, I was looking for some data and examples with a bit more depth. We talk about what looks great, what we don't show what doesn't look great, or bring in some stats or stories to back up our claims that we're making in this learning article. For content, the score to four. All of the visual content is presented in an uncluttered way, and there's visual harmony between the examples presented, whether that's in a box and the text that appears on screen. What's missing is that personalization. It could have used more diagramming or whiteboarding or noticing boxes to point out exactly what they should notice about the details being described in the script. It's a classic case of telling instead of showing. For action, the score to three. There's a clear call to action to check out a book as further reading, but it's almost a three because is this the best call to action for learners to take? Or perhaps there's something that they should do to apply storytelling into their current stage of web design. It's a little tricky. The final score for this video was 75%, which is just under our benchmark of 80%. I think this video goes to show that even if your content looks nice or it looks beautiful, that doesn't necessarily mean it's quality content. It's how you present the information and how you structure your explanation that really makes for quality content. Go ahead and click on the link below to access the FOCA framework. Rate some videos across YouTube or even some of your own and figure out what skills you need to master to make those quality content. Now, if you're interested in having your video rated by us through the FOCA framework and you want some feedback, go ahead and send that to kevin at synthesia.io and maybe you'll be featured in our next FOCA framework analysis video. That's all for now. And remember, don't forget to FOCA. And away we go. And away we go. We're ready to rock.